Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining in today. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about Windows Defender ATP and how it is different from Windows Defender Antivirus. Now you may have seen uh, starting Windows 8 and above, uh, you see uh, that there is an inbuilt antivirus uh, in Windows which is called Windows Defender, which basically protects you from known threats and known malware. However, Windows Defender ATP is an EDR solution. Uh, EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Response, which basically protects, which basically detects suspicious activities and malicious activities on your endpoint PCs, which may or may not be a malware related. Basically, could be a, a part of a larger attacks that may have been in progress in your organization. The, the Defender ATP basically helps you detect those attacks much earlier in the attack kill chain so that you can reduce a major impact. Uh, Windows Defender ATP is available with Windows 10 Enterprise. So let's go through the console and let's see uh, what are the different things that we can do with Windows Defender ATP. Uh, it is a cloud-based service which basically detects uh, anomalies on your endpoint PCs and of course, you know, on your on your server operating systems as well. So you can see here that I have this console open uh, where I have a uh, you know, few machines which are participating or basically uh, being monitored by different ATP here. And I can see some of the alerts from my PCs like suspicious sequence of exploration activities happening on your, on my devices. There are some devices where it has found a uh, credential theft activities, uh, suspicious uh, script executions, code executions from PowerShell, VBScript and all of that. And also unusual uh, number of failed sign-in attempts are happening onto the devices. Now again, uh, these are alerts uh, coming out from the devices itself, depending upon the activities happening on them. And it may be a part of a large attack kill chain. Uh, it also shows me which are the top machines at risk, which are my top users at risk. Uh, and you can see here that I have couple of users here where they have one high severity activity or high severity alert and we probably can go and see what these alerts are. Uh, Windows Defender ATP also has an automatic remediation functions which we're going to talk about later in the series but let's go today uh, let's just go through some of the alerts that it can let's get an, uh, get us an understanding of what it can actually do for your organizations by detecting some of these activities or the endpoint PCs. So if I go to my alert queues let us just go through a few alerts and let's see what this is all about. Um, so like I said, it doesn't really have to be a malware activity. Even some of those activities which may not be malware related uh, can be suspicious and malicious. Uh, attackers are nowadays using uh, inbuilt tools of Windows uh, to basically play around and then use those tools to uh, carry out their own attacks and, and carry out their malicious intent. Uh, Windows Defender ATP basically equips you to detect these kind of anomalies on the endpoint PCs. So let's quickly go through some of the some of the alerts here, uh, and let's see what these alerts are basically, you know, uh, is all about. So you can see here that I have few alerts here called suspicious credential theft activity, uh, PowerShell command lines are being used, uh, unusual number of failed sign-in attempts on a PC, suspicious script execution. Uh, and of course, if you're also using Windows Defender antivirus on these computers, those Defender antivirus also share their signals with Defender ATP so you can get their alerts here as well. Uh, see here that there's an outbound connection to an IP address uh, which had a which has a bad history but because probably it was used to carry out certain attack or maybe participating in the botnet or controls, uh, you know, command and control center of certain, certain other malware. Uh, inbound connection from an IP address, suspicious behavior by web server process, uh, then file backups were deleted, which is typically a ransomware-like behavior. Um, when you know process privilege escalation due to kernel exploitation, somebody exploited the kernel uh, vulnerabilities to basically gain uh, privileges from system from known uh, from a user level account to a system level account. Uh, reflective DLL is a uh, Intel Spectre meltdown vulnerability. So while you may not have patched it properly yet. Uh, but at least you can still detect if that vulnerability is being exploited in your organization. Uh, communication to known command and control centers or uh, then malicious PowerShell command lines, you know, all these are, so remote shell is of course, you know, one of the alert that can help you identify that if your PCs have active remote shell from some other places. So again, so let's go ahead and see what exactly it is. So, you know, if I click on this particular alert, it basically shows, it gives me more information about that, you know, attackers may have established a remote shell on a computer and uh, which particular process is speaking to which IP address. And I can click on the IP address and you can, I can even go and see what this IP address is all about, where it is located, who owns the IP address and all of that. 
So yeah, so this is an uh, you know, EDR solution helps you even uh, take uh, corrective actions as well. Like for example, here I can you know go and uh, manage alert, investigate alerts, and all of that. I can even go to the machine level view, uh, and I can take actions on the machine right from here itself. Like for example, machine I can see there's a lot of activities happening, and this uh, this particular machine may not be suitable to be there in the network because uh, there are so many suspicious activities that are happening on this machine right now. So I can definitely I can come here and basically. Uh, say isolate machine and the machine will go off the network so so certain manual tasks that you can take you know on your own like for example run an antivirus scan restrict an app execution uh, when you say restrict app execution you know all the applications running on these machines will not work only uh, Microsoft signed code applications will run and take the machine off the network of course uh, so yeah so this is a you know basic overview of what Defender ATP is and how it is different from uh, Windows Defender antivirus, uh, and maybe in the further series, we're going to talk about other areas of Defender ATP and how it basically helps you protect against some of these modern threats. Thank you so much for watching.